Welcome back, backyard astronomers. Welcome to Dream World Observatory. We've been gone for about a year under for some unforeseen circumstances, but we seem to be back on track now, and hopefully we can get back to YouTube with some of our astronomy videos. Stay tuned. You might have some fun. You might learn something, it's particularly if you are a beginner backyard astronomer. Well, I see you made it back. Welcome back to Dream World Observatory. Uh, it's kind of like we're going to be starting over again, except we're not going to back up. Uh, during our last videos, we were discussing uh, astrophotography. And from here on out, that is what we're going to be doing, astrophotography. Uh, we had just got into some calibration frames, and I've got had some questions come in on some of those. I will revisit some of the uh, calibration frames in the light box situation and maybe update you on some of that. We're also going to be looking in to some programs that you might be interested in, uh, one or two in particular, and the other ones, now some of these are free, some of them are really good, especially if you're in uh, astrophotography and really doing deep uh, deep sky work. Uh, we were going to be covering some of those and uh, maybe help you uh, learn how to set them up. Right now, we're getting into some heavy weather. We've just been informed that we got, in fact, it started today. It's already raining. Uh, for the next 12, 13 days, we're going to have thunderstorms pretty much day and night down here where I'm at. So uh, if anything comes up that I can actually get out and shoot a, a photo, uh, I will try. But until then, uh, you're just going to have to listen to me grumble and teach like any other school teacher. Uh, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, revisit some of the videos that we've already done and look at look at some of the new ones that are coming up and maybe look at them more than one time. You might be interested in some things that are in there. You know, I'd like to thank the people who, uh, who kept up with my channel for this past year. Uh, been an uh, incredible amount of views. Uh, also, there, I'd like to welcome aboard a lot of the new subscribers. Uh, quite frankly, uh, I've had two subscribe this week and I haven't shot a video in a while. I really appreciate that and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you do come back. Now, that being said, I was just thinking a few minutes ago, uh, there are, are probably some problems that you may need to uh, go over with on your telescopes. Now, you have to remember, I have old equipment. Uh, there's no reason to buy new equipment, in my opinion, when the glasses, the, the lenses and all are still just as good as the day you bought them, if you've taken care of your telescope. So some of the things on my telescope may not work the same on yours. For instance, like this telescope I have here. A lot of you uh, probably have bought some that looks very, very similar to this. Uh, they are, except mine's probably close to um, 16, 17, maybe 18 years old. So I don't have the default equipment that you're going to have on yours, which is really updated stuff. Uh, I've had to add things to mine, and some of mine might work different. I have made modifications, uh, which you now have on yours when you buy yours as default equipment. It comes with it. That being said, is my telescope going to work just as good as yours? As far as I'm concerned, it is. Uh, in fact, uh, I see no reason why I need a new one. Now, there are times when you might say, this scope is too big and I need a smaller one. And that's true. But I'm going to show you a program where, uh, eventually, I'm not today, I'm going to show you a program where it will actually help you do a thing called mosaic uh, photography. So an image that you see in here that fills up the whole entire screen, you can't seem to get, a, get away from it. Uh, you can't see the whole image. All you see is a core, say a, a galaxy, a, a big galaxy. Well, there is a way that you can actually see it, a couple of ways that you can actually photograph it with this particular telescope and also with that program that you can make changes to your telescope to be able to see these. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, just because you can't do something doesn't mean you not need to buy a new piece of equipment. Now, have I bought equipment? Yeah, I've bought a lot of equipment. I've been in this for a long, long time. So over the years, I have bought quite a few things. Uh, do I use them all? Nah, <laughs> I don't. Uh, 
I still fall back on what you see right there. Now, I don't have the, uh, my new camera on that. That's really a year or so old. I don't have it on here because I don't normally keep the cameras on. I do keep uh, the guider on here, and I will eventually, once I work out my photo train right here, my optical train uh, for my uh, other camera, my imaging camera, I will probably be leaving it on there. It's a, it's a good thing if you have an observatory. Can you work without an observatory? Yes, you can. That's a lot of people, especially on YouTubers, if you go look, uh, that don't have an observatory, but they shoot some of the outlandish photos you have ever seen in astrophotography. Making my mouth water. In fact, I'm trying to copy some of them. Uh, hopefully, uh, eventually, in a few weeks, maybe I get to shoot some, but not according to the weather that's going on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick by our, our plan and, and just go with... Uh, some how-tos and this and that and another, how to align, how to, uh, how to set up our programs, how to do uh, calibration frames until we can get into it. Uh, all I can say is come back and help us, join in with us. If you have any questions at all or any video that you would like to see uh, uh, a how-to done, drop me a line. Okay, so it looks like we got our job cut out for us. If there's anything that you would like to see brought up, uh, some kind of a how-to, some things that you don't understand, uh, maybe uh, have you set up one of your programs, if, we, if I have them, uh, and I can't really set up a program that I don't have. But uh, I can sure give you some insights on what you need to do. Um, if you like what you saw, click like below. If you haven't subscribed, and this is your first time being here, subscribe. And hit the little bell you'll get a notification the next time i post a video so until next time keep looking up